Hey everybody and welcome to episode 2 of No Coins, No Problem. In this review we're going to be looking at Team of the Season, Lois Dioni. I actually got him in an untradeable pack, but he's going for about 22k on both Xbox and Playstation, which is Team of the Season discard value, so he isn't expensive at all. I have played one or two games with him before doing this review, so any conclusions I make on him may take into account his previous record, but will be made up mostly from his performances in these four games. You can see he's 6 foot tall and has high low work rates, as well as 3 star skill moves and a 2 star weak foot, which does seem quite nasty, doesn't it? But not to jump the gun, let's have a look at how he performed. I went into the games with reasonably high hopes for Dioni's dribbling ability, as 88 overall dribbling looks pretty great, and his in-game dribbling stats look pretty decent as well, with 79 balance being the lowest of the bunch. He ultimately achieved a 73% dribble completion rate, successfully beating his man on 36 out of the 49 attempts he made. This isn't a terrible result, but in-game he did feel rather sluggish, and I think that might partly be down to the 3 star skill moves. Although dribbling and skilling ability are separate traits, I personally always feel like lower skill moves make any player inherently worse at dribbling, just because you know they don't have skills in the locker. Although none of his in-game passing stats are very glamorous whatsoever, Team of the Season Dioni surprisingly managed a very impressive 89% pass completion rate, with 64 of his 72 passes reaching their intended destination. In the four games, he did manage 5 assists, which is very strong, and shows he did excel in supplying short through balls to teammates. An issue I did find, however, is that his passing wasn't very versatile, and while he could manage a short pass to a man he was pretty much facing, I really didn't want to try anything at long distance due to his 47 long passing. This was an area where I was really expecting Dioni to shine. 6 feet tall, 88 strength and 89 aggression had me very excited to try him in close encounters with opposition defenders. Fortunately, I wasn't let down either, for the most part at least. In a straight up contest of strength, shoulder to shoulder with a defender, Dioni would come into his element and could power through into the box more often than not. It was when faced with the situation of holding a defender off and then turning past them that he let himself down. However, I feel his dribbling was mostly responsible for that. I'd also like to say that his aerial ability is frankly atrocious. 99 heading may look good, but 71 jumping is rather uninspiring, and the numbers really hit this point home as he successfully won 3 out of 17 headers he attempted. That's an 18% header success rate. Hideous. Of the 6 shots I took with Team of the Season Dioni, 5 of them were on target, which is a good amount, but 6 shots in 4 games really isn't very impressive, especially for a striker. Furthermore, only one of these shots ended up being a goal, meaning that the other 4 frankly weren't up to scratch. This is also the main area in which a 2 star weak foot really caused issues for me. Perhaps the reason that I only managed 6 shots with him is that I was so conscious of his weak foot, and in situations where I could have taken a chance at goal with his left, I inherently wanted to move it to his right at all costs, and this is arguably what cost him more goals. I also did find his work rates to be less effective than I'd hoped, and 96 attack positioning really didn't seem evident in game, as he never showed much initiative in attack for me. His pace pretty much lived up to expectation for me, 82 is far from being the highest, but combined with his physical ability, it was definitely enough to outrun most defenders or chase the ball from a chipped pass. He wouldn't be able to compete against the likes of Jordi Alba, but if he's chasing a loose ball shoulder to shoulder with an opposing player, I could rely on his pace to give him a good chance of winning that fight. In conclusion, I'd say that Team of the Season Lois Dioni would be a great candidate for a budget team striker, but not really anything more. He's a relatively complete package with a decent amount of pace, really good shooting stats and a really good level of physicality, but if you're looking for a quality target man or forward who can hold up play as well as grab a lot of goals, I would advise you to look at second in form Olivier Giroud as just one example, because he offers a constant physical presence as well as having a good amount of height on him for the same price. Overall, I give Team of the Season Lois Dioni a 7 overall rating, and a 7 rating on value for money. Unfortunately, he wasn't the hidden gem I was hoping he would be, and for the same amount of coins, I think he would be better off investing in an outright target man to go with a pacey striking partner. And that's all for today everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this review and be sure to stay tuned for more episodes of No Coins No Problem. While there may be a lot of time between them, I can promise you they will be out, and just hold me to that, please do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I hope you all stay safe and I shall see you guys later.